What up folks, welcome back to UltraZilla Toys, and today I have a review of the SH Figure Arts WWE Kane. Oh yeah, it's another UltraZilla Toys main event, and it is Royal Rumble Weekend. Not only that, it's um, NXT TakeOver Philadelphia Weekend. We got the uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling New Beginning in Sapporo for those fans of that. Um... Yeah, I like it all, so I'm going to be watching a lot of wrestling, I think, <laughs> this weekend. But here's Kane, who's got a big, big title match. Uh, a three-man dance with Brock Lesnar, the champion, and Braun Strowman. So, uh, very interesting. That's why I wanted to do this Kane figure this weekend. Uh, it's been my idea since the match was announced to do it this weekend, so... So we could talk a little Kane. Does Kane deserve to be champion in 2018? I don't know. It, it's, you know, iffy because, you know, I mean, you want to put the title on someone hot, up and coming, you know, like Braun, or someone that draws a ton, like Brock. But this is a nostalgia factor. And you know, Kane is, you know, this is probably his last run. Or one of his last runs, you know, like. So, I think this is the last time we'll see him in this sort of position, at least. So, I mean, yeah. Will we see it? I don't know. But, you know, what do you guys think? Does Kane deserve one last title run? Even if it's, like, till, till, till Monday night. You know, like, I don't know. Um... We'll see. I'm more into Braun holding it for a little bit, even if he doesn't hold it till Mania. Um, I, I wouldn't mind that. But Kane, the figure. Let's take a look. This is SH Figure Arts. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's, he's a decent figure. I think the Figure Arts Kane and Undertaker, who I haven't reviewed yet. Um, there's a size comparison between them two. You see, Undertaker's a, a tad bit bigger. Um, like, are the best two of the line thus far. Definitely better than The Rock and Triple H and Stone Cold because overall I think their likenesses look a little better. The body shapes feel a little better. So not so bad. As you can see here, uh, I have Kane in his, you know, the kind of classic mask. Um, so these are like Attitude Era-ish figures that they've done here. In uh, comes with a couple extra... You know, this is a little past the Attitude Era, but, you know, has a, a couple of different cane faces. I really did like when he was, you know, when he unmasked and he was all crazed, so pretty cool. I think they did it pretty well. It's kind of looking off here. I don't know if the eyes are, might be a little messed up, honestly, but it adds kind of to his monstrousness. Um, but the likeness is really good, I think. You know, like, you can, you can, the closer you get, the more you see the digital technology, the dot printing, but it looks all right. You know, I, I think it's a nice head, and the paint is pretty good on it. So not bad. And he comes with three of those heads. Um, this one, he's looking a little bit more forward, smiling sadistically. Uh, and that one's pretty good as well. I like that. I, I, again, I think it's a pretty good Glenn Jacobs who's Kane, you know, or Isaac Yankum DDS, <laughs> or Fake Diesel. So, there you go. Those are three heads. Um, he does, if you remember, he always would come out with this, like, black towel over his head, and you could fit any of these heads in there. That's pretty creepy. So, let's just take off that head, pop one of these on, see how that looks. Pretty awesome, I think. I, I really dig that. That looks really good to me. Spot on. So not bad at all. Which will afford us a chance to look at the masthead. Pretty cool. I don't recall the um the like you know the stitching there. 
like that, but yeah, I'm sure it's right. And the flames look pretty good. You know, the mouth looks pretty decent. A lot of dots there, um, but kind of comes off as five o'clock shadow. Hair looks all right, brownish with some wash. Not bad, not bad overall. So pretty good. I dig it, I dig it, I can dig it. Um, of course, he also comes with some hands. I actually have two different hands, one gloved, one not on him for whatever reason. But he has uh, four more here, two more, on, two more gloved, two more ungloved. And uh, as you can see, you know, some of these hands are art articulated yeah, so that's pretty cool um, just one of them well I thought there would be two I thought one of these gloved hands would be articulated ah that's weird to me so you do have one articulated hand if you want to like do a choke slam a little better and there you go so and that, well, let's 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 look at that So there you go, that's what he looks like there. If he wants to choke slam his brother. There you go. <laughs> that looks pretty cool, I gotta say. So let's just take that off. Take a look at the rest of the body, and that looks really good. I really like his chest, the gray. Um, though I don't recall it also being gray, but you know. It's been a while, um, and his suit now doesn't really look like this. It's a little bit different now, so. But um, the straps look really good for what it is. I think they look really nice in red. Uh, the buckles look pretty good, and even the gray looks pretty good. It's, it's a nice design. That's an interesting design, too, on the sides. Not so bad. The knee pads, kind of splotchy red, I guess. I, I, I don't hate it, in this, in the, you know. I do like how, like, it's got, like, a satin finish. It's not really matte. It's kind of satiny. And, um, ooh, look. There's some uh, plastic in there. And then you got the, like, really glossy boots, which really works for wrestling boots. The straps, they look really good. And the gloves. Uh, I, I dig that, you know. And then the, uh, the pads here are, you know, kind of matte. Um, they're a little sloppily done, but I mean, it's not terrible, but it, it does have a little bit of slop But yeah, it, it, I like the different textures on them. I think that's pretty good So not bad, Mr. Kane Not bad at all ah! All right, let's take a look at the articulation now we got a ball joint obviously up at the head. With this head, it gives you about that much movement. So there you go. You would think King could really do that. He is a demon. But let's take a look with the um, the mast head. How we do. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like you get more movement with the mast head. I don't know why that is. It is a little soft plastic, so that moves out of the way pretty good, so. But yeah, you do. Then you got the neck joint there, which helps a lot. You, you got a butterfly joint in here, which is nice. Gets you to do some really good moves. These are on the uh, the fighting bodies, I believe. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can grab the box. Yep, the fighting body. So pretty cool. Their Street Fighter figures are on as well, which we will look at pretty soon here. Uh, at least some of them. So, there's a drop down joint in his arm as well. You saw this arm pretty far down, as you can see. So, it's not really a drop down joint, but like the the ball joint is like barbelled and it's pretty long. So, you do get some drop down. So, yeah, I mean, it is kind of a drop down. But, a lot of range of motion there. Pretty good for whatever you would need. Um, you know, it, it rotates and swivels and all that. Uh, no bicep swivel though, so you're only getting it up there, and then you do get some rotation in the elbow, which is double jointed, but as you can see, mine kind of snaps back, and I feel like I'm going to break it, <laughs> um, so I don't want to mess around with that too much, but it is interesting how these figures have, uh, 
rotation right in the middle of the elbow. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty neat system of fighting bodies. So then you got hinge swivel at the wrist. I got, oh, more plastic. I didn't even see that one. Yeah. Okay. As you can see in there, there's a nice ball joint up in there. No, maybe you can't see it. No, you probably can't see it. I can see it. But you get a really good range of motion in his mid chest there. So pretty good. And then you do get the waist articulation as well. That's nice. You definitely have the drop down hips here, as you can hear. <laughs> and then it's cut up here, and you can swivel it. You could split out that far. That's with the drop down, kick that far. Not so much back, but it works pretty good. Um, you know, you could rotate, rotate, rotate it up there. Double jointed knee, kind of hindered by the. Um, no, I shouldn't, but it is. Hindered by the way the boot is. Kind of just stops, see? Is what it is. No rotation there at all. It's surprising. Uh, hinge and a swivel, actually. Oh, so you see the swivel? It's at the very bottom of, you know, his leg there, at the top of the ankle. That's interesting. Again, these fighting bodies are a little different. So, but pretty good. And of course, you saw the hand before, uh, at least on this one. So there you go. There's his articulation. Um, not bad, not bad. Um, some things I would do a little different. There's some really nice joints, but I feel like I, there's a few things that are actually like missing that would really enhance this figure, I think, like bicep, like some sort of boot cut, you know? That would be nice. Um, but it's, it's a nice figure. It looks good. If you like Kane, if you like the Attitude Era, <laughs> Uh, or, you know, post attitude Eric Kane, you know, he, he was very prominent for a long time, guys. So, yeah, this is a really good figure to have and definitely one of the better ones in the line so far. Line kind of has stalled a little bit. I haven't heard anything. But we have, uh, you know, Wonder Festival coming up as well as Toy Fair. So we'll see if we get any news there. But let's take a look at some size comparisons with some figures I have on the desk here. We have trunks. We have uh, clone Goku. Wow. Hey. Hey. Look at that tag team. Vegeta could be their manager. Oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> oh, we're going to continue with the black and red. Why not? We have DC Collectibles uh, Batwoman. So pretty cool, and uh, another DC figure, uh, Duke Thomas. All right, guys, and that's all I have for this review. Please get back to watching all the wrestling you can. Let me know your thoughts on anything wrestling. Didn't talk about Raw 25. What a disaster. But if you want to talk, that's what my wrestling reviews are all about. A little bit of talking about wrestling, too, if you'd like. Um, so in the comments below, please let me know your thoughts on this figure, the Royal Rumble. Should Kane win his match? What do you think? Or should he just retire? Uh, whatever your thoughts are, put them down below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.